Hi, welcome back to this YouTube channel and my eBay seller's account, GB Hatchery. Always remember, you can buy from me. This is a video showing you how to get American Truck Simulator not only working on the HP Reverb G2 and other headsets, but also how to get it running extremely smooth with reprojection through the Open XR reprojection uh, function protocol. So here we are. American Truck Simulator. First thing, if you don't know, to get it running in VR, there's other videos out there. But you go to betas. Let's see. Okay, let's see exactly what I did. Here I am on Steam. Go to this. Manage. Go down to Properties. Then we're going to go to Betas right here. And then you pick the beta. And these are, as we all know, uh, functions that are not ironed out like PlayStation VR. They're kind of like, you can try it if you'd like. This is what we have. We are not going to... It's kind of like in testing phase. So here we are, Oculus OpenXR. That's the one I picked. It's the very top. And uh, Oculus seems to work fine for my other headsets. And it works for the HP Reverb G2. This open VR seems to be pretty uh, uh, pivotal. This it's the one you need. So it's Oculus Plus, and I'm thinking that is Oculus or Open VR. But anyway, this is the one I pick. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not a coder. I just play the games, and so that's from under betas. And then there's one other spot. Um, is that general? Here we are. In general, in the launch options right here, you put in dash open VR. Now, if you were under Oculus, maybe you would put in dash Oculus, and then that would go into Oculus. I don't buy Oculus products. Um, but here is open VR, dash open VR. Uh, I guess I'm a little partial to Valve, and I kind of like Microsoft. I, it's, uh, anyway, so the Re Reverb G2... Um, could use that the open VR and then there's more so that's to get it running at all and now when you start it when you say American Truck Simulator play you have to use DirectX 11 it will not boot into VR and you have to have your VR set on turn VR start Steam VR now my Steam VR is on up here on the top right of the, the screen mine is already on so I don't need to turn it on. Otherwise, I would have to hit this button and start it. Once it was started running correctly and everything looking good in the headset at the Steam VR home or that little interim area or whatever, then I would launch with DirectX 11, and then it would start into the headset. But that's just to get it running at all. Beyond that, to get it running smoothly with reprojection, where you can turn the settings way up, and still get a smooth frame rate because it's putting in synthetic frames. Now, they might wiggle a little bit, but on certain games, like ones like airplanes and driving games, they tend to do okay. Now, some games I've played, like, uh, what was that one? The Forest. It didn't work well with The Forest because I looked down at the ground, and it was morphing so much that it didn't look right at all. So, But with things that have a, uh, a certain feel to them, it, it can figure it out. So a lot of times... Uh, like a truck driving game so far has worked and the airplane games have worked pretty well. So let's get into that. Uh, this is over, so... Okay, and now on to the reprojection. Uh, some people may have reprojection enabled already, other people, and they want to turn it off. Some people may have it off. Now, when I installed my American Truck Simulator, it was not on. And I was getting decent performance between 60 and 90 FPS at about 1440p I think it was and now with reprojection I'm at 4k high settings like all the way up and before I was medium settings so it really does something I am a fan of reprojection some people cannot stand it they do not like it to enable it uh, last time I found it just there's a few ways you can go to your tree but it's like uh, I call it a tree of a file tree kind of things, but you go into uh, documents. It's in documents. Now, what I was thinking is it was in the program files, 
Steam library, um, and I was thinking that it was in Steam apps, and I was thinking it was in common, and then this is where all of the files for American Truck Simulator are. But it's not there. It's actually in documents, and in documents there are these files that have to do with yay or nay on things like how are we doing um, you know save files I think sometimes or I'm not exactly sure but this is a second location so if you go to your documents and then go to American Truck Simulator and then go on down to this config file now if you notice this is a a notepad file but this config dot cfg is the magic money right there get that one now these are zeros and ones these are answers to how you want to configure your game and it just so happens for the reverb g2 that open VR mirror mode this turns on the mirror so that you can have people watch because if you notice in VR if you tried it before changing this config file if you just said hey great it works now then you will notice that it's black screen and sometimes it's jittering and looking like it's forgetting what it's doing so to be able to watch it or record it or anything like that this was a zero I changed it to one right here and then here this open VR interleave reprojection this was a zero I put that on one now I haven't even looked at the rest of this I don't even know I'm talking about these first two for the reverb G2 now if you have oculus there might be some oculus one or the other down here Let's see, texture, what do we have? Tooltip, I don't know. Rain reflection, rain reflection, graphics advanced quality, 3D scale. So these are settings, global settings for the game. See if you notice here, this 2160 by 3840, this is, the, uh, this is what I picked for the resolution. So I think that in-game changes can affect this file. It will change this file, I believe. Now, I could be wrong, but maybe this is a max and they're just setting it. But uh, here's full screen, one. Zeros and ones. You know, it's a digital world here. No pun intended. So, yeah, that's how you change it to reproject. Now, when you reproject, some of the gates and fences will wiggle a little bit because it... It has some kind of mathematical model where it says this color is going to this pixel and this group of colors is going to this pixel and we'll fudge it like this on its way getting there and we can see it and I'm sure it's it sounds really complicated like how is, is this AI but it's probably just weighing each color as a number and then when it sees that over you know moving to and then like the uh, the pattern of it moving in a way where groups of it equal the same basic number of color so I don't know I don't I don't program and I never I don't really aspire to because I know that I would have to relive my life to be that type of a person so I'm just happy to be on this side of it it's like you either make comics or you read comics either you know so I do a little bit of YouTubing about it and I'm happy with that so basically put these on one that's the long long story short is put these on one and this is the config file if you have a hard time finding it still what you can do and another fast and easy way to do it is to get in here on your search bar and just put in config dot cfg and then once that's down here you can go to documents and it, I didn't even have to do that and this was already up it says CFG file in American Truck Simulator and it says the location users documents American Truck Simulator yada yada and this is it I'll hit it boom same thing well it's here right now it's right there and it shows you it doesn't open it for you but it does show it right here and then here we are again with the one and the one now I would show you how much better it looks to me but you're not going to see it unless you're in your own headset and there's no way that 60 FPS is going to show you what 90 looks like in the headset and what uh, 1440 versus 4K looks like. So you're going to have to go ahead and check that out yourself. But, you know, if this video helps you, you want to give back and give to yourself, you can always check out my eBay store, GB Hatcher. I'll leave a link to the description. 
and where you can just click on that and it'll take you to my uh, eBay store and if you find something you like you can buy it if not I'm not so worried about it I hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one